Hello! You have tuned in to G Free and Happy Show tonight. And tonight, my special guest is Julie with OMG It's Gluten Free. That's exactly what you say when you bite into one of their treats. OMG. Because nobody notices that this is a gluten free product. And then also I'm highlighting their products tonight and I'm giving a little heads up for a Mother's Day gift. Gluten is my bitch. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to the G Free and Happy Show that happens every Monday night at 7 p.m. Pacific Time, 10 p.m. Eastern. I'm your host, Kathy. I've been gluten free for four years now and loving every minute of it. Uh, so tonight, my special guest is Julie, who is the founder and the president and the everything that goes into the business of OMG, It's Gluten Free. Uh, her and um, her partner right there for a minute. I can't remember his name. What's his name, Julie? <laughs> P Patrick. I've talked to Patrick a million times. Um, Julie will be on in a few minutes and she's going to talk all about the business of owning a G-Free product and also um, we get to hear about Disneyland because they are a hot item at Disneyland. And then my product will be their products and then I'll be talking about Gluten is My Bitch, the book. So stay tuned for, um, but first, this show is brought to you by Oval Eye TV. Oval Eye TV hosts and produces live video events built to meet your objective. Visit Oval Eye TV to request a free 30 minute consultation today to find out more about going live with your brand. Okay, so let's see, wh where do we start? Hi, hi guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you're not on chat, you're welcome to introduce yourself and say hi to me, Gluten Libri Mom, and hopefully Brian's on there too, so hello guys. Um, before I get started with OMG It's Gluten Free, I wanted to give a shout out to a really good uh, guest of ours that she's been on a couple times. Gluten is my bitch, April, I can never pronounce her last name. Um, but you'll remember the name, right? Gluten is my bitch. And look at this. I think this cover is really cool. This is a great Mother's Day gift. It's hilarious. If you don't follow April, please do. I gave you the, the name. Actually, that's her tweet right there. Uh, Glutenismybitch.com. I think there's WordPress in there too. Anyways, it has really funny, I mean, hilarious chapters but there's also great recipes she has one I just marked pistachio pesto stuffed pork chop only like four ingredients almond coconut bars only four ingredients and then a whole thing on her life going gluten-free and jet packs for celiacs and the first thing is two words and I can't even say them on I, I would gross you out so I want you guys to get she tells it like it is it's hilarious follow her blogs too um, check out this book go to glo uh, there's her website again gluten is my bitch dot wordpress dot com and order that book for your mom today all right so tonight I am every week I highlight a product that I love or a service that I love and I can't say enough about I think the brownies are probably their number one, right? Julie, is the brownies number one? Yeah, brownies, I'll show the brownies, but um, my favorite's the cookie. So on the back here, can you show it up? Right there, that's the fudge brownie. Everything is individually packaged that they they um, produce. It's cross-contamination. She's going to talk about her products very soon. But I can't say enough about these products. And let me get the cookies back. Because this is... Well, actually, I'll show the butterscotch. Um, the butterscotch cookie is 
oh look at that it goes live it goes big is in fact every person in my family who's not gluten-free loves this and we all say omg is this gluten-free i'm not kidding you all need to try that and we're going to find out exactly where you could buy all these products on their website at omg it's gluten-free.com or julie's actually going to mention a couple places where hey if you're at disneyland the bakery that's how i found them in fact at night it was dark it was um, cold i wanted something luckily they had a gluten-free cookie they warmed it up for me holy smokes the best cookie i've ever had and it has a good memory too with it so recommending by omg it's how can you forget that name too perfect name omg it's glutenfree.com and let's bring on julie hello julie thank you so much it's late you've got four kids right uh, yeah. waiting at home you've been you're at work so tell me tell everybody a little bit about yourself about prior to OMG? About me. Let's see. Let I am a little about you personally. No one no one has asked that in a long time. <laughs> I am. Um, I know, I love that. Uh, I am a mom of four kids. I went to Ohio State University and graduated in hospitality management, which would be hotel restaurant, with the dream of always working for Let Us Entertain You. And I never did. I stayed there and had fun. And then my dad called me and said, come back home and do something with your life. I put you through the school of your choice. I own a trading firm. Come trade for me. I'm like, I'm not going to trade for you. But I ended up coming back to Chicago trading. And then probably, well, I don't know, four, 14 years into it, 15 years into it, I had my fourth child. And it was time to be an at-home mom. And that lasted approximately two and a half years. And then I started <laughs> this uh, dream. Some moms are better moms by working. Yeah, And um, I agree. that's where OMG began. All right. <laughs> so 15 years, basically, you were kind of hanging out and enjoying the trading business. And then you had kids, started your family. How many kids, four kids, when you started OMG? Four kids when I started OMG, yes. Now that's brave and in itself, right there. Starting a business with four kids, young kids. Young kids. And the reason the OMG story. Yes, let's is, hear about that. Uh, I had celiac. I, had di I was diagnosed with celiac probably seven years ago now. And it was a long battle at Northwestern. They didn't. They thought I had ovarian cancer. They thought I had everything. I was just not me. I was bloated and gassy and not tired and nauseous and my kids are like oh mom's pregnant I'm like no mom's not pregnant she said four kids I'm done <laughs> but uh, celiac disease can mirror ovarian cancer so they took me down that road for quite some time two years of test after test until a good friend of ours from England said I bet you have celiac disease go off gluten and see how you feel it'll take a week Hello, let's talk about that moment for a minute too. How many doctors actually diagnose all of us? Not mine, your friend, uh, same with us. Somebody said to us, check out the gluten-free diet or you know, things like that. Okay, so sorry I interrupt you, keep going. No good, because I'll tell you real quick that in medical school, in a four years of medical school, people, doctors learn two and a half minutes is spent on celiac disease, two and a half minutes in a four-year medical program. So that's exactly why. No one that's gets sad. it. Yeah. So I went off gluten. Two days later, felt like a rock star. Felt like a rock star. My stomach was gone. I mean, I'm not thin, but I'm in shape. Um, and you could wear smaller pants too, couldn't you? Oh my God, I yeah. I couldn't even fit in anything. It was awful. And I was grumpy all the time. But two days later, I felt like a rock star and I went to my dad and I'm like you know what dad I think and there were there was a group of us in fairness to all of us who were uh, cooking on Tuesdays and we called it taste tasteful Tuesdays tasteful Tuesdays and at the beginning there were only two celiacs and there were eight that were hmm. not celiac and by you know two months into it everyone was eating the gluten-free food because it just tasted as good and that's when I went to my dad and said all right I think I want to 
and we're blessed to be family with Richard Melman and I said I want to take my idea to him and see what he says of Let Us Entertain You and he did. He said I will help you, I will guide you, get a chef, do it right, you're right on the brink of something, this is not just a fad and if you do it right I'll help you, I'll, I'll mentor you. So, How lucky are you with that? I mean to have such a brilliant mentor. Beyond. You're so right. Beyond. Would not be here. Would I have a file in the cabinet. And I've we're family. So I've been to bar bat mitzvahs. I've been to Passover. Yom, I mean, I've but never in this capacity where I can go into his office and be guided by his head chef works with my head chef and it just all gelled together and he said I don't want you to be the the three other companies out there right now that there's 20 25 products 50 products 100 you be the best you can be and nothing goes on my shelf nothing goes on your shelf without you know my approval so nothing goes on our menu without him or his head chef Rita okaying it how long have you been a business it was three years in March and it opened at the time when I was diagnosed one of my four children I really shouldn't say this but he kind of is my favorite was diagnosed <laughs> with celiac birth and I knew it because he had the classic symptoms he had the behavior we had to hold the bus for him three times a week and all that stuff and he was my, he's my little Danny Weil and I, I, I it wasn't fair that he's active in sports there was nowhere for him to go there's no, nothing ever to eat I know what it feels like and like I've always said and this is what got us in Disney which I'll tell you about yes. I can eat my salad and drink a glass of wine and I, I'm fine but my kids can't so from that day on I opened the cafe what I thought was going to be this cute little cafe in Frankfurt Illinois and with my chef we were here every day for 12 14 hours a day just getting this thing going and all of a sudden fast forward three years I have four kids that all have the disease and we are in Disney World Disneyland talking to uh, national companies I have my Disney World guy who's the best ever telling us we're gonna be global before we know it I mean you, you it, our products good and you just yeah. gotta focus and that's another reason why I, I highlight you I talk about you all the time because I, you know, we're all looking for that really yummy cookie or brownie. Uh, it's not there very often. And when it's there, hello, it has to be gluten free. And, the, and isn't your brownie sugar free too? We do offer One a sugar. Of them. Yes. And that is another blessing from Disney or beauty. And we became, <clears throat> excuse me, befriended. One of the head chefs, the dietary chef there has become like our almost as much as Melman, like a, a, a guide and a mentor. And when they want something, they ask our chef, Andrew, to create it, who is also a partner as well. He's been here since day one, and he does. And okay, so, so let's talk about brownie. let's talk about your Disney experience. How, because I heard a little bit from Patrick how this started, but I'd like to hear from you. Um, how I mean, did somebody tell you you need to just go to Disney, or how did that come? It is such a random story. I when in this industry, you are, and one of the biggest mentors to us as well is another gentleman from Cooper's Hawk who came in our doors at the beginning and said when you're in the right when you're doing the right thing and you're doing it with your heart and you're doing it right doors open Jen and please quote that on Twitter <laughs> that is say it one more time that's a very good quote when well, I, don't, I don't know if I can repeat it exactly the same but <laughs> when you're do, when you're in the right when you're doing the right thing and you're doing it with your heart doors open I so and believe that it is it's very true and so I I have been surrounded by phenomenal people and one of them is a gentleman who helped me. He worked for U.S. Foods, but in the Monarch division, and he, he really isn't even in the company anymore, yet he still mentored me. And year one, I went to Disney, and this is when now all four of my children are diagnosed. Wow. And we were there for Thanksgiving. We rented a house, and there, I mean, I it was the biggest joke. We rented it with three, two other families, and I called every pizza restaurant in the Yellow Book, 
and I kid you not, the quotes I got from these pizza restaurants are, gluten, I, do you have any gluten-free pizza? No, gluten not free today. I mean, this, this is what I'm getting, right? And I'm like, but wait a minute, do you have any gluten-free pizza? No, no, no. So I emailed my U.S. Foods gentleman who has been wonderful and I said, Dan, seriously, when it's just me and I gave him the glass of wine thing, I go, now I have four kids. He goes, Julie, I told you, you're onto something. Let me think, let me think. It's Thanksgiving week. I'll get you someone I know, but let me, I have to call our, you know, Florida division and let me see what I can find you. I can't promise anything. So he gets back to me with an email address of a gentleman named Dave and he said, I can't promise you, but go ahead and shoot him an email. He's the head of procurement. So I shoot him an email the next day. Don't hear from him. Two weeks later, I'm at the gym and he called me back and I, are you still there? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Don't touch anything. You're good. Okay. <laughs> um, but so he called me back and I will never forget. I ran out of the gym and like, he's like, Oh my God, what are you? Are you having a heart attack? I'm like, no, I'm in the gym, but I knew it was Disney. So I, talk to him and he's like I gotta tell you I love your email because I sent him a long email he's like I love your tenacity I love the fact that you you don't even know me and you're co going out there tell me a little bit about your company and I did and we were so fresh at that point we were a year into it we didn't even have our certif our gluten free certification yet and we were just this cute little cafe but I was damned if he was not going to try our product and he said send me some samples and when you get certified, fly out here. I want to meet you and I want to introduce you to our team. And about a month later, we were on 190 North and I sent him, I'm very good. If there's one thing I'm good at, it is keeping people that have helped me in the loop of where OMG is and our latest news. And I had sent him that 190 North clip and he came right back and said, all right, are you certified? I said, we are. He said, well, then I want you to fly out next week and meet our team. And I did. And let me tell you something, I'm shy. And I flew out there by myself because it was just Andrew and I. I mean, I didn't have the Patrick or the anyone else. It was just Andrew and I running the cafe. And I did it by myself, nervous, and had to uh, present to four or five chefs walking through their kitchen with my long hair and my high heels. They were not happy. But... The presentation went well, and fast forward eight, eight meetings probably down the road right there within a year, and we, were, we, were, we replaced a pretty good company there. That is so inspiring. You know, uh, I host, I'm a web hoster, and I host many small businesses, and I've seen all sorts of um, big businesses, too, that inspire me. But your story, because I think... Uh, you connect with me because you're a mom and uh, you've got kids at home and you're doing all these things. You're trying to multitask and build a business. You inspire the heck out of me. And I hope that uh, the people watching, uh, you know, when you get a great idea and you're passionate about it, don't be afraid to go to Disneyland or a big company like that and pitch. That takes guts. You're absolutely right. And I was looking over and I was thinking, like what advice would I have at that? And the two things I wrote down was confidence, confidence, and don't give up. And it's true. I mean, you, you don't know what's out there. And I, I personally lack in a lot of self-confidence, but I'll tell you what, when you know, yeah. when, when you know it's right, you fight. Hey, I hope your kids are watching this. And hey, kids, your mom's pretty cool. Aw, thanks. Okay, let's move on, because that was a really good story. Let's hear, I know. My daughter is tweeting because uh, I own a business with her and she's tweeting for me. She produces our show with my husband and oh. um, she's a business owner too. So you've inspired many of us tonight. Thank you. All right. So let's move on. Tell us a little bit about those products that, I mean, how, do, by the way, OMG, it's gluten free. Did you like taste your product and go, OMG, how did that come about to that name? That's funny. That was just a random, like a group of us on the couch, my family trying to figure it out and a couple close friends. And finally, you know, at the end, I'm like, OMG. And one of my close friends goes, it's gluten free. <laughs> and that was how, that is truthfully how, how the name started. And we are very adamant about it being, oh my goodness, as to not offend anybody. Hmm. 
And um, it is true. I mean, people that is, they'll bite it and say, OMG. Yeah, that's what and my daughter had it too with me. The whole family ate your treats and that's what we all say. I mean, even the ones that are not gluten free say that. Are you kidding me? Really? That was our goal. That was one of Richard's biggest things is let's make this so dad good that, you know, the family of, you know, I mean, now I have, there's six in my family, five of us are gluten free. My husband's the only who's not. Hey, you weirdo. <laughs> and he should be because he has also <laughs> colitis and I let him know that. Right. But, uh, you know, when it was just Danny Weil and I, I mean, we would never go anywhere unless, you know, I choose where I need to go and where Danny needs to go is where the family goes. And that's what I think the whole world's catching on to. I agree. And that's a good, I mean, you're saying great things for the gluten or celiac awareness month too. So a shout out to you for, for inspiring us all for that too. Okay. So let's talk about your products. Okay. So you have brownies, you have cookies. You want to see the brownie? Yeah. Oh wait, Chase, she's showing the, sorry. Show, yep, there's the brownie. And they're all individually packaged. Now, did you come up with that too? Yes. We have a designer we work with. But we, you know, I have to be honest and fair to to Disney, truthfully. I mean, not that they need the kudos, but uh, we were virgins. We were raw at the beginning of this. And they kind of said to us, listen, if we're going to go outside the box, and, you know, we have our own chefs, we have world known chefs, if we're going to go outside the box, it's going to be not contaminated and it's got to be individually sealed and blah, blah, blah. So that's why our brownies are individually sealed. Our mac and cheese right here. Oh my gosh, that is so yummy too. Is a 12, this is phenomenal. Yes. I mean, normally you would think it would take, I mean, what? I make mac and cheese, really? Do I? I boil noodles, I add cheese, you know, but this took our chef, Andrew, one month to create. I mean, really? my kids were in have been the month he created it because <laughs> they got 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 2A, 2B, 2, I mean for a month straight. And But it's in a 12 ounce microwavable and oven safe container. And look at how cute that product is too. It's very cute. Yeah. And the first one that put us on the map would be the lasagna right here. Oh really? It, yes. That was yummy too. We launched it with um, a three to four serving one that was... Uh, uncooked and you had to bake it and then you portioned it and that's when Disney said listen put it in a 12 ounce already cooked non-contaminated we can heat it knead it portion size serving and we'll buy it because again I don't want our chefs to have to put it on so they kind of I mean we came up with the little this is more oh, I want to show you something again. yeah show us butterscotch cookie oh yummy my the favorite chalkboard is for learning. I mean, that's like the essence of OMG as well, is we have a piece of us that we've been asked to speak at many Six Flags corporate, national, two years ago in New York, that was one of the, or Dallas, that was one of the big things they asked us to present because a lot of people don't understand the gluten-free world and why, and the afterward, and that was a PowerPoint, let me tell you how nervous I was for that, but I had, <laughs> So many people come up to me and these are people from zoos to water parks to amusement parks to everywhere saying not only do I think I have glue you know but wow really wow like they don't get it so education is a big yes it is art and piece of our puzzle hence that's where we came up with the black the blackboard that's nice to share with uh, with all of us too thanks for sharing that because I was gonna ask you that too Yes. All right. So are those the, oh, wait, your muffins, too. Amazing. Blueberry. They're there. <laughs> and some, uh, do they all have um, banana in them or just? No, okay. we have a banana chocolate chip. Oh, and yeah. It's Yum. Vegan as well. And we made it vegan for Disney. Huh. Um, and so it, meaning dairy-free as well. We have a lot of dairy-free customers, too. So we. That's we, nice. Yes. We, we. Promised that we would be the best gluten free out there, the dairy free. We are, we are, you know, on the things we can do, we do. But the muffin, the banana chocolate chip is one of them. And then we have a blueberry muffin, a cinnamon crumb, and a lemon poppy seed muffin. Oh, yeah. And oh, our I products. I want them all are, right now. You want them all? Yeah, right now. <laughs> um, 
our products are also 100% peanut and tree nut free, which was another Disney guide that if you can be, do it. You know, I mean, it's such a big allergy out there. So it is. It's like, but for Disney was telling me when we visited Disney in March, I talked to the chef, um, Bill, out in um, Los Angeles. He was saying that gluten topped the peanut allergy over there. Really? Uh, yeah. And I thought that was interesting because peanut was always huge. It is huge. And I think it's more like, I mean, I'm pretty severely gluten in, I mean if I get any cross anything I'm sick but I'm not EpiPen send me to the hospital sick peanut I think took yeah. the you know I mean they have different tables at schools and whatnot but that that shocks me although now with the numbers out there saying one in 20 are gluten intolerant I mean I'm not shocked yeah number one requested item that's allergy yes Please. Please. um uh, what about your kids? Do they go to school and, and hang out in the lunchroom and all? They do. Um, I think between me, you, and however many thousands of people are watching, uh, they cheat all the time, and I know when they cheat, and they know I know when they cheat. Um, <laughs> but I, I'm really good about sending them, and, you know, the schools are they're getting better. They're getting better. But... Uh, it is hard. It's hard with the hot lunches. It's hard with the market day. It's it's hard with, you know, you, the biggest thing and one of the probably the biggest ultimate reasons I opened OMG was, I, I don't want I didn't want at that time Danny to feel different than any other kid, on any other level, you know, and and so the gluten free thing has become such a, such a big. You don't want your child to feel like he has to sit at the peanut allergy table or the. You know, he should be able to have a hot lunch. He should be able to go to the zoo and have a, a cookie with everyone else. He should be able to do these things. And so that's that's something that I'll never forget. Um, when we were interviewed for 191 North, our chef Andrew said, and it's so true. He's like, nothing. He Andrew never wanted to be. A, he went to culinary school in California. He's a family friend. He moved to, Calif or moved to Chicago from California. I needed a chef. He needed a job. And he's like, all right, I'll do this for six months. I need some, you know, but then I'm out of here because I don't know anything about gluten. Well, it's been four years now since we have started the inception of the dream. And, 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 and the inception for him to of say, the dream. I love that. For him to say, you know what? The, what my biggest happy place is when kids walk in here with the eyes as big as diamonds saying, you mean I can have anything? I can have a cookie, I can have a pizza, I can have a cupcake. You know, that's that's what it's about. And you know, that's what Disney says. So you're a perfect match for that because that's they want the kids to be happy too with their treats. And you're that's right. probably why they have you in there. Uh, I have a couple questions. Uh, is there a way to see what your ingredients are when you look online? Yes. Okay. So there is. I think it's under new what is it under nutrition or yeah. product there is definitely yes i saw it too it's yes. there every ingredient correct and nutrition panels on there and i i even got a pamphlet when i when i got it on um in the mail Woohoo! all right so um and the other question is how many of her kids are cd uh what danny is the only celiac disease child i have that i know of because the other three tested off the charts. So Dr. Guandalini at University of Chicago told me that it was just a matter of months or a year before they would be celiac disease. And at that point I said, you know what, why should they all have the biopsy to prove it, put it on their insurance, it didn't matter to me because I knew they were all um, intolerant. Yeah, that's how I look so, at it, but I should probably be tested too at some point. But if you feel but I'll tell you what the doctor at Rush told me, and I love that man, if he's still kicking. It was six, seven years ago. He was 82 years old. Love him, Dr. Lloyd still. He said, Julie, because see, I was misdiagnosed. They told me I didn't have it. But I brought wow. him a biopsy, and he said to me, well, of course they say you don't have it. They biopsied the wrong part of your iliota. I mean, they don't even know what they're doing. <laughs> Hello, what? Wait, you know, you said that before. Say it again go off gluten he said because I brought him he was my children's doctor at the time he was a gastro doctor I didn't take them 
Danny I didn't take to a celiac doctor at first. I took him to a gastro doctor because we had to hold the bus for him. I mean, he was a sick little kid. And I brought in my biopsy, which came back negative. And I brought it to him because you could see my intestines were black and put they mirrored celiac disease. And I brought it to him and he goes, but I'm surprised you're not, let me see your biopsy. So I brought it to him. He said, well, I'll never forget in his accent, but of course you, you know, they would say you didn't have celiac disease because they biopsied the wrong part of your ileotum. Hello. Inside. And so it was interesting because he's, and then he said to me, just go off gluten. That's your, your own best judge. You tell anyone that's your own best, go off gluten and see what happens. See how much better you feel. Two days later, I was a rock star. But I just had a colonoscopy two years ago, and it's a newer test at Northwestern where they're testing genetics. And huh. mine came back positive. Normally, or if you're a genetic carrier, it comes back from one of your parents, it came back from both sides. He's like, Julie, of course you have. You know, so it, to me, to be diagnosed with celiac doesn't matter if you have the intolerance there's such a fine line and to put my kids through the testing and the it's not worth it they feel my one son grew I'm gonna say nine inches after he didn't walk till he was two years old not Danny my next one Ryan he didn't walk till he was not 19 months old and the doctor said it's because he was weak well now looking back I know why he had he couldn't hold anything down he was sick as a kid he looked like an Auschwitz victim but now I know why and to this day being on a gluten-free diet for four years he's grown he's the fastest kid in seventh and eighth grade I mean it's amazing it's amazing so uh, that's more information than I've heard and that's wonderful information and gluten Libre's mom is saying biopsy biopsies is biopsy is overrated uh, I had never heard too that you could hear, uh, you could see genetically if uh, both your parents or both sides. That's interesting. I'd kind of like to know at some point. It's just a simple test. That one was well. I don't know because I had I was out for the count because I was in a colonoscopy. But <laughs> he did. He asked if he could test. I said sure. He goes okay. Well, both your parents and my mom passed away um, thirteen years ago and. You know what, though, she died of lung cancer, but looking back now, she had rheumatoid arthritis, she had irritable bowel, which I don't think there is such a thing. She had every, there is not a doubt in my mind that she had celiac. Um, so. You're not the only, I, I think April and Gluten Libri's mom, too, that you both have, I mean, you guys have some things in common with your moms and that they were sick. It's very interesting. I agree. I wish the doctors would you know, have a little more interest in those kind of things, but oh well. All of us will help. Yes, I agree. All right, so I've taken all your time. You get to have your wine in a minute, but please tell us where we can all find you. Find us on our website, right? Yes, at and it's down at the bottom. OMG, it's glutenfree.com. You also have a Facebook page, and I'm just going to tell everybody. And mm -hmm. would you put down, put the, yeah, there it is. Facebook. OMG, it's gluten-free. I want yep. you all to follow Julie. And Julie, you were amazing and so informative and educated me with so much tonight. I had no idea some of that. And four kids that are CD or we're going to say gluten-free for sure. There you go. Your husband is just kind of the weirdo of the family, though, I have to say. You said that. <laughs> that again. Um, okay, so everybody's saying you are great. Learn tons. Um, thank you so much, Julie. Thank you for having me. Cheers to you. You as well. Uh, well, that was fun. Um, actually, all of my guests give me so much information, and I hope to all of you too. And next week, I have another fantastic guest. It's Jennifer. I think her last name is Fugo and she's with Gluten G Free School and we're going to be talking about detox and sugar. Uh, it's big. Um, a lot of people should not be eating sugar if you're allergic to gluten but we won't talk about that with Julie in the green room right now. 
<laughs> we won't talk about that. But isn't that funny that I have OMG, it's gluten-free, full of treats and yummies. And then next week I have detox sugar. And <laughs> uh, so until next week, this is Kathy with gfreeandhappy.com. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, you name it, I'm on there. Um, thank you so much.